you know, we did a study actually on this very question about what happens to healthy people that fast. And although there's tremendous improvements in sick people, it turns out when you look at the cardiometabolic risk factors, when you look at even things like weight and uh, percent body fat and visceral fat on healthy people, people that are within healthy limits, there's additional improvement. Their blood cholesterol drops even lower. Their blood pressures drop lower. Their percent fat drops even lower. In fact, proportionally, the people that get the most benefit of fasting are healthy people that are doing it preventatively. But they tend to need short fasts, not long fasts. You're not necessarily taking a healthy person doing a 40-day fast. You're, these are five to 10-day periods of time rather than the very longer fast. And even that week of fasting, though, has a profound effect on healthy people. I might mention, though, that most people that think they're healthy, when you actually objectively look at their biomarkers, aren't as healthy as they think. Many people are maintaining higher visceral fat, higher inflammatory markers, higher lipid levels than what they probably ideally should be, even though they're asymptomatic. They say somewhere around 2 to 2.5% of people are actually objectively measuring out as healthy.